What's up guys, Merc RS back with another CD game. This one we're going to be going with Aquila. Just picked her up. Um, this is nothing special, I think. I haven't seen any great, great reviews of this ship, so uh, yeah, we're going to just see what we can do in her. Let's go with that stuff. Let's go with the torpedo speed, since those suck. And then let's go with our torpedo health. I think the torpedoes are ultimately going to be your main weapon on this thing. Because these rockets don't seem that impressive. Um, yeah, let's just go with flight control. Um, just pump out the planes. Because we are going to be losing a lot of them, from what I understand. So, uh, camo, whatever. Exterior. Yeah, let's not slap on any bonuses just yet. Random battle on a weekend. Let's go, baby. What could possibly go wrong, right? So, um, with Aquila... Uh, you supposedly get your fast planes, from what I've seen in a video. Um, and then you've got your slow torpedoes on your torpedo planes. You got no bombers, but you do have, um, no dive bombers, but you do have, uh, AP rockets. They are at a higher angle, so you're not going to get as many citadels as you would with the Parsifal, um, or the MVR, the German line. Um, but that's okay. You know, uh, you... It seems like it's going to be used more for destroyers and maybe getting some citadels on those cruisers. Um, not really a great design in my opinion because it's... I don't know. Here's the thing. <laughs> WG relies on accessibility. Um, so they want their game to be accessible to everyone and they're not going to improve... Like, MVR is challenging to some people because it's, you gotta click, like, at the exact right moment, right? To get those citadels. Um, whereas with this thing, I don't know, it kind of introduces more RNG to this AP rocket mechanic. And um, it kind of raises the skill floor and lowers the skill ceiling. Um, so, I don't know. I don't like that personally, and I know a lot of other people don't like that. Is what it is, though, so let's not gripe about it. <clears throat> Alright, we got AP rockets. We're gonna use those first, get a lay of the land. We are in um, a bottom tier game. We do have a Yamato over there. Hopefully, we don't get targeted out. That would suck. <laughs> um, we do have good players over there, so. I'm not holding my breath for how we do this game, but we are going to try, so. As far as uh, main enemies go here, the D D7, the Breast is going to be a threat, and the Marseille, yep, that has respectable AA. Oh shit, we're already getting hit. It's a Shima that wants to open fire, okay. Alright, well let's test these AP rockets on a Shima, shall we? Because I don't think we can Citadel a Breast, it's too armored. Alright, so not broadside Shima. 2k. I'm actually kind of surprised we got that much. Rockets are pretty uh, nimble. I was able to turn there pretty well. Let's just harass the fuck out of this Shima. Um, let's boost up. We got some boosts. We got a couple of consumables here. We got four fighters. Okay. That's nice. Yeah, let's help the side win as fast as possible. As you can see, Yamato is on the other side of the map, so that allows me to potentially just get up here. Breast is already peeling back. What's up? Here we go. Alright, good. 4k. And he should be dead soon if the gearing will just shoot him, which uh, he's not doing. Sometimes those rockets, the uh, fighters spawn in such a way that you can spot over a hill, so it's always nice to be able to do that. Alright, Shima's got 20 kilometer torps, those are not coming to me, so we're safe. Uh, we do note that there's no allies over here, really. 
we do need a position to potentially run away because our Thunder and Chieflin are kind of moving more to the center. He's already spotted, so let's just torque this guy. We're going to torque so we push him out of this thing, hopefully. Only two torps. Wow. I forgot about that. <laughs> Come on, give me a hit. Nope. Alright, that's okay. Health dropped really quick on that plane, so these things are very light. I mean, the Skiering is a good player, and he's super cautious, so... Kinda not good for me. Get out of here, dude. I don't want him spotting me. I don't want him looking at me. Seeing me. Fuck that seven. I don't want anyone blasting me out of the fucking water just yet. Alright, so those guys should back off. Right? Let's try this. Hopefully, the mountain pushes us up so we can get that broadside. Yeah! There you go. If you have a big enough brain, you can... <laughs> you can... Uh, succeed still. Massachusetts is moving forward. We're gonna try and convince him not to. I wanna f attack him from this angle. Oh, mains, you're so fucked. Oh, mains, you're so fucked. Oh, god damn it. Wow, these planes, just no chance, so you gotta take two. Or, uh, you gotta drop, you gotta pre drop every time, it looks like. Thankfully, we do got a pretty good regen time, so... Fuck this guy, Storps. I want this. <laughs> I don't like how he handled that gearing problem, man. And I want this damage out. Let's go. Let's get greedy. See? That's all you need to do, man. Like, he thinks I messed him up. No! I just get the fucking... It's just easier to get, you know, a detonation. I don't know. I'll make the rules. I'm just kidding. I shouldn't have done that. Don't... Don't learn from that moment, okay? <laughs> I should have just torped him so that he kept driving straight. So that gearing torps would have just ended him. That's truthfully what should have happened. Looks like Mark's gonna get Lex easily here. Drop this here. We spots the Edinburgh a little bit for the team. Ah, oh, I couldn't save that plane. Auto is on you know, broadside of most people. Shit. There's too much over here. Can we get out? We gotta see if we can get out. Right now I'm looking at that. I wanna just maximize the use of these planes right here, so I'm going to try and get this Jeeker, I think. Mato would be good, but he's gonna hit down that. He's made knock down two planes, so. Oh, fucking holding. Let's go for the Jeeker. Use this rock. I don't think that's gonna work, but it's okay. 
Okay, we lost two DDs. They did. We did lose a carrier. I have one DD left, and he's not as really a spotting DD, so I can get start working to get closer to the uh, Yamato. It's actually my goal. Closer? Yes, C3PO. Closer. See how that does. There you go. Not great, not terrible. Let's take the torps out, and we're gonna work on that uh, Yamato. So we are racking up damage. I mean, 79k isn't terrible. Um, but e yeah. could could always be better. You know, we've got a lot of other better ships. Uh, Remo kind of mentioned it in his video too. Um, I mean, why buy this when you've got Chikalov and all the other stuff? I mean, I want to change pace, you know. And for a lot of us, we want change of pace. So, just drop it there. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to learn how to drop much farther now. I think. What do you think? Yeah, so a change of pace is, is always welcomed. Um, just, if it could be better, that'd be nice. <laughs> Regardless, uh, let's, let's drop this fighter here. Either make that thing go really around, or um, he has to drive into Seattle's AA. So I'm going to be safer for a little bit longer. This will be one drop. Not gonna try and heal through this. Wasn't not expecting Elving to be there, so we're gonna get kind of fucked here. <laughs> we get a flood though. If I can get like 120, I'd be happy. Smoke up, Elving! Look at me! Oh, here we go. There's the pain train. And we escaped it. Nice. Go. Straight. 112. I'm happy. I'm happy! I don't think I had to work that hard for this. I mean, the torpedoes can slap, dude. They can, they can really slap. I think that's gonna be your main weapon. And the rockets sometimes, you know, on the light cruisers and all of that. All right, so 112. One sinking. Yeah, it's not, not bad. And we ended up second. Look at that, first game. Not bad, and we got second to the SCC guy, so they're a good clan. GG!